this speed bomb, and I'm going to do it seven by seven. I'm decoupling lab view from continuous integration. Quick show of hands. How many people use CI or CD? Good, good. All right. If you do, you probably solve the same problems that I have. Uh, if you don't, this might make things easier. Um, it's 2019. DevOps is a job title. Uh, this is widely accepted part of modern software development. Uh, we should be using CI and Lab together. It's that sweet, sweet automation where we're making computers do the work for us, so we don't have to run things manually. There are lots of different solutions. I evaluated GitLab, Jenkins, Team Study. There's more out there. Uh, more things coming online every year. It's just getting better. All of them have one thing in common. How do they connect to lab? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're stuck in, you know, the yeah. terminal, bad commands, scripts. All right, so if I want to do something uh, in lab view through the command line, and I want to do something in my project, I want to build it, I want to test it, what do we need to tell through that command line API? We need to know version, fitness, uh, what project file we're operating on, what actions we want to do, uh, a whole bunch of stuff, how we want to do it. That's a lot of parameters. So that's complicated. All right, your CI server or whoever's running your tests needs to know a lot about your lab view project and the specific lab view bits. And I think that's kind of a bad thing. So I propose that a lab view project should know how to test and build itself. Introducing uh, Compose CI. You can find it on gpackage.io. All right, so this allows you to configure and test your lab view specific CI steps on your development machine and transfer them up to the build server and it executes the same. And what does that accomplish? It reduces the complexity of your CI system, reduces the number of commands and parameters in your testing or build scripts, and it reduces the setup and debug time. Uh, makes things more straightforward. <coughs> it's got this totally awesome lab view UI. <laughs> so, uh, configuration is easy. You can check in a JSON configuration file with your source code so that whoever gets your project, wherever it goes, it will build and test the same. <laughs> what this thing can do, you know, the basic stuff run a lab view build spec, run Three, run five, who cares? Uh, run any amount of VI tester tests, whitelist, blacklist tests, run a VI analyzer. Um, you can test different parts of your code with different uh, static analysis files. Um, we use GPM. It has tools that will help you relink the packages together or to recompile your project in general in order of dependency. Uh, and you can also use it to uh, mass compile uh, look for cyclic dependencies in your project, look for back code, things like that. That would be generally of interest uh, in your CI system. Um, so this is about what the command format looks like. We use LabVIEW CLI, uh, create package, and really the only thing that has to change is what action you're running. Um, so your commands are simple and it reduces the amount of commands as well because these are batch uh, operations. Uh, so you just specify what you want to do, what your configuration file is, and everything else can be parameterized uh, by the CI system. Okay. So you get useful console output of the API, uh, provides good logging, tells you exactly what's happening on the server, so you're never wondering why things fail. Uh, from our Jenkins implementation, and I'm sure in other CI systems, what does this get you? you can have your test reports, you can have your static analysis results. These are really cool things to have. This is all open source. You can download the package on GPM, or you can go to Compose Systems Bitbucket and uh, check that out. And with that, that's it.